All right, I think I'm recording. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like I told you, this is a great little piece. I'm going to share with the, this with you shortly too, but um, I'll give you a blank version of this, but this is a great budget tool. All right, let's do this here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, think again. Um, okay so here's a great budget tool that we have here. It's... Um, Here are the main categories that you, you should uh, have in a budget. Emergency savings, like I remember I, I said one time, 10% off the top, meaning before you pay anything, if you get a check, it's, if you get a check that's gonna be worth 100, for $100 for your work, 10% automatically gets put into savings. That's your emergency savings, right? 20 to 30% of your, of your income should go towards housing, four to 7% towards utilities, 15 to 20% towards food, and we'll kind of go over these in, in detail. Uh, six to twenty percent in transportation, two to eight in medical, fifteen to twenty percent in debt, three to five in entertainment, two to four in clothes, and then goal savings and then miscellaneous. Um, and here's kind of how the categories break down. Like, in, like your housing could be your mortgage. Actually, let's talk take it from top. So let's say you're making three thousand dollars a month. You should your take home should be three thousand dollars a month. Three hundred of that should go into emergency savings. If your take home is $3,000 a month, you should allocate six to $900 for your, for your housing. If you're gonna pay rent, that's not, I mean, where can you get a place for six to $900 a month? It's, it, it, it's tough, but this is to have a good, healthy budget to live in a somewhat comfortable way. Um, utilities, would, and what would be in utilities? Do I have it in here? I don't have, no, I don't have this. For your utilities, for your gas, your um, not for your car, but for um, your electricity, gas at home, those kind of things. That could even be your your phone bill. You know, your phone also, your cell phone should be if you're taking home three to three thousand dollars a month, one hundred twenty to about two hundred eighty dollars a month. That's that range. Um, and here's like if you're making more, what the, what 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 this would look like. Okay. Um, Food, that's all food items, including eating out or, or purchasing groceries. You're taking home $3,000 a month. You should be spending 40, 450 to $600 um, in food. Now, it's not going to be uncommon for you to have like, okay, I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm, I spend nothing on food. I'm, I'm going to spend you know, 5% on food. It means you can spend a little bit more someplace else. All of these are going to add up to 100%. Uh, transportation is 6 to 20%. Why such a big range is because... This is kind of more of like a national budget. There's some areas of the country, you know, you can walk everywhere. Some areas of the country, you can take a subway. Um, but California is more of a car culture. So we're probably going to be more on the, on the higher end there. Um, so if you're bringing in $3,000 a month, you should spend, you know, you know, eight, eight, $180 to $600 a month on um, transportation. Medical, like, you know, medical insurance or anything else. Uh, the insurance, prescriptions, doctor, dental visits, you know, 60 to 100 to 240 dollars a month that's based on three thousand um, uh, dollars entertainment you know right now i don't think anybody's spending that much on entertainment uh you know movie tickets nobody's going to movies concerts nobody's going to concerts so that might be a little bit uh less or you know i guess you can put gaming that kind of stuff in there as well clothes this is where a lot of females just shudder when i hear this two to four percent clothes can be clothes shoes alterations even dry cleaning Here's a big piece of advice. If you're going to buy some clothes, think about it like this. If you're going to buy like a new pair of shoes or say a pair of jeans, you, 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 or you see this pair of jeans that you really want, think to yourself, if I'm going to buy this one pair of jeans, actually it's funny you say pair of jeans. It is, it is a jean into the jeans. Jeans would be plural. Um, anyway, if I'm going to buy this pair of jeans, what one pair would I throw away or give away to justify this, this purchase? Even more, what, if I'm gonna buy one pair of jeans or one new pair of shoes. I guess I get a pair of shoes because there's two shoes, but a pair of jeans, because there's only one jean, you know? Um, anyway, to, if I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes, if you do it safe, what pair of shoes am I gonna get rid of? Throw away giveaway to justify this purchase. If you want to take it even a step further, if you really want a new pair of shoes, 
ask yourself, what two pairs of shoes would I throw away? Get rid of two for this purchase. It really makes you think, oh my gosh, how much, how do I really need these? So, um, and then goal savings, goal savings would be, you know, for like investments, education, house, I mean, it's something that you really um, want to save for as, as a goal. The emergency savings is to save 10% off the top so you can have potentially have that six months of savings um, set up for you. Um, so if something happens and you lose a job, you have a little bit of a cushion. Um, and then the um, goal savings would be, you know, hey, I'm going to, I'm saving for, uh, I'm saving for a car, I'm saving for a vacation, I'm saving for something. Set at, that would be five to ten percent off of three off of a three thousand um, dollar net would be that much. Um, miscellaneous. This is a killer. Hobbies, cosmetics, uh, toiletries, gifts, tobaccos. My wife would go crazy with miscellaneous at Target. She would just be like, I mean, I would just. I thought we were working for Target. It's like you know, I was like Target, 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 constantly. That can that can destroy you. A good piece of advice is. Take your monthly, right? So if, if you're bringing in $3,000 a month, take $300, of, take 10% of that, right? Which would be $300. I'm gonna do the math really quick here. Hold on, my phone is okay. Take that $300, which is 10%, divide that in weeks. So be about $70. And, and when, you, when you divide by weeks, and some, some people always think, oh yeah, I'm gonna figure out if it's $300 and divide divided by four. Don't divide by four, divide by 4.3 because technically there's 4.3 weeks in a month because there's 52 weeks in a year and 12 months in a year. If you divide 52 by 12, it ends up being 4.3. Anyway, um, if you put $70 cash at the beginning of the week in your pocket, that can be your miscellaneous. So when you have to buy all these miscellaneous things, it's much more tangible because it's so easy when you have a debit card and just go, it doesn't, it doesn't seem real. You spend more money with a debit card than you would with cash. I know cash can you know, be obsolete at some certain point, but there are places to still take cash. Um, so to cut down on this miscellaneous, take your $3,000, divide that by 4.3, ends up being 69.76 or $70 a week. Keep that seventy dollars a week in your in your pocket in cash. So when you have to buy these miscellaneous things, you at the beginning of the week you have seventy and like oh, I gotta go buy X, Y, and Z. It means a lot more, or it's more tangible when you have when you're looking physically at that cash. You can stay within your budget a lot better on the miscellaneous side. So um, I'm gonna share this sheet, this this sheet with you. I think it's a great sheet. You will be given on an exam, and I'll go through this. I will give you a fake family fake scenario and basically tell you, okay, here's how much they're spending on, uh, here's how much the rent is, here's how, much, here's how much they spend in food, here's how much they spend in transportation, like, like car related uh, or transportation related expenses. And then I'll have you put together a budget and ask for their percentage breakdown for each category. How much is that a percentage of their budget budget? And then we will, then I'll have you make suggestions. Okay. What are, what are they doing right? What are they doing wrong? Kind of a thing. It's kind of a fun exercise, but you will have one of these for yourself uh, soon. So that's a good little budget sheet. Hope you guys, hopefully you guys like it and I'll share you a blank one with you shortly. All right. Take care. Bye.